Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another day of our summer reading club programming. And today is Wednesday. And on Wednesday, we like to do crafts and activities that help promote wellness. So what we're going to be making today are some rock paintings. <laughs> Pretty cute, isn't it? So today is a really, really easy craft. All you will need are just some rocks within your neighborhood. Honestly, as you know, rocks have tons and tons of personalities, so you can find ones within parking lots, driveways, anything like that within the community. And I'd recommend getting smoother ones because that way it's a little bit easier to paint over them. You will of course need some paint, any paint works, a paintbrush, and anything that you like to use to customize it afterwards. So of course, as I recommended, you'll want a smoother rock because that way it'll be a lot easier to paint over and it won't be as rough. So there's pretty much just a lot of open air for customizing these rocks depending on whatever you're interested in or whatever brings you happiness. I like to do a little, these little creatures with googly eyes. I like to think this guy looks like a frog, but I'm not much of an artist, so I tried my best. And yeah, so really honestly, just customize it as you see fit. You can also use Sharpie, anything like that. Or also there's um, paint pens, which are really, really helpful for like the tiny little details. And I absolutely love adding little details like gems and stuff like that, like this guy right here. And those I'd recommend, especially being on the hard surface of a rock, I would use some hot glue just to keep it down and absolutely googly eyes if you would like, but it's completely up to you. Now online has a lot of resources of different templates you can use. I know for myself, I found a lot of really, really cute ones like a hedgehog or a kangaroo and stuff like that that are really, really great. You don't even just have to do a creature or an animal. It could be of a place or it could be um, promoting a different season or something like that, completely up to you. But again, that'll be everything for our craft today. However, before you go, I would just like to mention an amazing project and partnership we have at the Cameras Public Library here this year with the Bethany Care Center in town. Now, this program is being run with Jaden DeWall, who is an Augustana student through the Pathways program. Now, the Bethany is an organization that offers healthcare services and housing for individuals in Camrose and surrounding areas. Now, one of our current projects is to enhance the courtyard at Memory Lane, which is one of the units at the Bethany Care Center, which cares for individuals that are living with dementia. Now the thought behind the rock painting today is to not only promote wellness within yourselves, but for you to share that wellness with people around you and those within your community. So if you wish to help, please, please, please drop off your rock paintings to us at the library here. Just go up to the desk and we'll put it in a little drop box. And then we will bring all of those amazing paintings of yours to the Bethany Courtyard to help share that happiness. So it'll be really, really, really nice to see at the end of the summer with all those amazing different rock paintings there. But that'll be everything for today. Thank you guys very, very much for joining me. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe. And I can't wait to see you guys again. Have a good one, everyone.